Hey guys, Joe Hildreth here from MyHeap.com. So I have been working on um, this little Kenneth Wells steam engine. And yeah, I have the engine done. Runs pretty smooth. I had a bit of a tight spot, but uh, it's coming along. There's still more work to do on it, but really before I can progress any further, I need to be able to test the boiler um, to make sure it, one doesn't have any leaks and it will hold up to the pressure and that sort of thing. Now to do that uh, I need a boiler test rig which means I'm going to have to make one and to do that I'm going to have to have some sort of water pump to hydraulically test it. So I don't have uh, a, a water pump so I decided that I'm going to make one. A while back, uh, quite a while back actually, Emma Ritson from Spare Room Machine Shop recommended this book to me Simple model locomotive building introducing LBCSC's Titch, right? And this is uh, from uh, Curly Lawrence, I think is his name. Um, and in this book, he describes how to build a pump, a hand pump. Now this would normally go into the tank of the uh, the water tank of the uh, locomotive so that is an emergency supply to be able to pump water into the boiler. So um, he describes two of them, one that is made with casting and then one that's just fabricated out of parts. And he gives a, you know, me being a beginner, uh, it's a nice description of how it's made. And So what I've done is I've copied that and uh, scanned the, the pages of the book and uh, so I'm going to make it, and I thought, well, you know, I've not seen, or I've not saw, or I haven't seen a, um, a project like this on uh, YouTube yet, so I thought I would do it and share it. Okay, so now the the pump has, has got a frame here. This has been up out of a piece of, uh, of uh, 3 30 seconds brass or copper now. I don't have any 332nd brass or copper, but I did have this two inch to half inch um, reducer. And so what I done is I stuck it in the lathe, you can see it slipped there, and I parted off an inch, okay, and then I split it, and then I annealed it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this anvil that Chirpy made for me, and a soft hammer, and I'm gonna flatten this strip out and then uh, I'm going to cut it to length. It needs to be four and a quarter inches long. And I need to mark some bend lines on it. And when I do that, I'll bring you back in. Okay, I flattened out this piece of copper and cut it to length. Um, specified four and a half inches. And this is just going to get bent into a frame. And we saw that here. So just two little feet, an inch between. And in the original magazine article, um, which uh, you can find, you can find these on um, uh, whatever that steam engine site is, something Tom Tom or Tom Thumb or something. I don't remember, but anyway, I'll try to remember and put a link to it at the bottom. You can find this. This is where I found this. So it's just it bends it over in the vise, put some packing in there. Right, so that's, that's essentially what I'm going to do. Um, I'll get the camera set up and I'll show you and we'll go from there. Okay, so I have the piece of copper clamped in here at the first bend line. Not at the foot, but at the first bend line. And I'm going to take this in soft hammer here. like that okay so that's creased over at 90 degrees right there on that bend line and then I got a piece of one inch stock I'm gonna put it in here just like this okay so I fiddle farted with that so we're gonna do the same thing we're gonna bend this one down All right. 
Okay, I have it mounted in the vise uh, with the feet sticking up, so I'm going to drive these over. Let's take it out of there and see what we got. Hopefully I didn't destroy it too bad. All right, so there we have, I'm gonna have to do a little straightening on it. But there's essentially the frame. Now I can drill some holes in it. So let me straighten this up a little bit and get it marked up and uh, I'll bring you back. Okay, so uh, you don't find too many measurements uh, on here, but um, most of them are given in the in the text. So I need to drill number 30 holes here in the feet, uh, two in each foot. Okay, we see that here, and you can see that there's two of them. Okay, need a hole in the very top where the um, lever lug will go, and then a hole through uh, the frame where the pump um, uh, the barrel will go the pump barrel will go so I have hopefully this shows up I've uh, center popped center mark there for the lug the marks for the barrel and then one on each side for the feet now all I done was you know this is basically 3 16 so I just split it in the middle and put them a quarter inch in on each side. All right, so I want to take that to the drill press and I'm going to drill number 30 holes uh, in all of them. And then I'm going to open up, according to the text, they need to open this up to three eighths. And I think I'm going to clamp that to, um, to my angle bracket and to open that up. So let me, uh, I'm going to go drill the 30, uh, the number 30s. Uh, you guys have seen that. I'll bring you back in for the three eighths hole. Okay, so I've clamped the uh, bracket against my angle plate and I've drilled a number 30 straight through, okay? So I need to open this up to 3 eighths and I'm gonna step drill it up. I'm gonna do a quarter and then 3 eighths. So sorry about my noisy drill press. And hopefully I don't get my arm in the way. Okay, so that's quarter inch all the way through, and now we'll do three eighths. Okay, so I went ahead and moved to the drill press vise because I wasn't having a whole lot of luck and didn't want to squash this thing with a C clamp. All right, so this has been drilled through three eighths. Now, what actually goes in here, the uh, pump tube or uh, barrel, I guess it is, is uh, seven sixteenths OD and. Uh, 3 8 ID. So I have some 7 16 tubing um, that, that I think I can use for this. But now further on in his instructions, we have to file or ream this out for a, a easy push fit on that tube for it to be soldered in later. So I'm going to go ahead and drill it uh, 27 64th, which is a 64th inch under 7 16th. And then I'm going to go ahead and take this reamer right here and ream the hole out. So let's try that. See what happens. Okay, that wasn't too bad. This is a this is not held real well up here. So that's where some of that chatter come from. But we got we got a handle on it. All right, and remember, I'm a beginner, guys. I am going to make mistakes and stuff. And 
But that's how I learn. <clears throat> I'm, uh, I'm known to have to make parts a few times. <laughs> All right. All right. We'll take that to the uh, bench and deburr it, and I'll bring you in over there. Okay, guys, so, uh, and girls, the, the first part is made, the, the pump frame. It's uh, reamed. Um, uh, 7 sixteenths of an inch. It's parallel there, so it should be okay. I have holes drilled for mounting holes in the feet, and then a hole drilled for the lug that goes in the top. All right, so the next thing that I need to make is the pump tube, right? I think he calls it uh, the barrel in the, in the book. And uh, it needs to be an inch and three quarter inch long. He says use treblet tube if you can get it. I don't know what that is, but other than uh, some tube that's been drawn through a die plate three times. But I do have some 7 16 OD um, tube. It will have to be uh, drilled out and reamed to 3 8 because it's a little smaller on the inside. See, it's uh, uh, maybe it's, uh, see, it's uh, 3075. ID so so I'll get that set up in the lathe and I'll bring you in over there okay so I got uh, one uh, drill bit that's 1 64th of an inch smaller than 3 8 I'm gonna drill it uh, an inch and three quarter just a little bit more I have the piece marked where I'm gonna part it off so let's do this Okay, that's drilled and reamed, and uh, next thing to do is just part it off. All right, and that's that. Just got to clean up the burr. Let me get that in frame. Yeah, just clean up the burr off of that, and that'd be good. So, I'll see you over at the bench. Okay, so here's the pump barrel. It's uh, 7 16 OD, um, 3 8 ID reamed, and then the stand, and then this will get pushed through here. Okay, so the pump barrel gets pressed, or well, you know, gets slid into the frame here. Lug on top, and we're getting closer. All right, so I'm going to stop here on this one. Uh, I think in the next video we're going to start working on the valve assembly. But now I've ordered some uh, model engineering taps. So with the uh, COVID-19 thing and, and shipping, I have no idea how long it's going to take to get here. I did uh, order them from a company in England. Uh, anyway, um, so hey, uh, thanks for hanging out with me while I build this little pump. And uh, if these uh, videos interest you, um, please consider liking, subscribing, and sharing. And uh, if you subscribe, hit the little bell. You'll be notified when I make the uh, next video. So other than that, have a blessed day.